This short tutorial will show you how to update your Graupner MZ16 or MZ32 radio system using the Java-based downloader which works for either Macintosh or Windows computers. The Java downloader can be found on your SD card in the Utilities folder, or you can download it from our website or follow the links below. It can be installed in any folder on your computer. Before you start, make sure that you have downloaded and installed the Java Runtime Environment version 8. You will find a link to the Java download page below. After successful installation of Java, you can start with the radio software update. Connect the supplied USB cable to your computer and turn on your radio. From the main menu navigate to the system menu and select USB. Tap on the mass storage icon which will mount the radio to your computer. Check in your explorer or finder program that the radio shows as a drive that can be accessed. For example, the MZ32 radio will have the MZ32 volume name shown with all its available subfolders. Now, start the downloader utility. If you are running Windows, you can either use the EXE or JAR version, while with a Mac you can only use the JAR version. The downloader main menu is easy to navigate and has only few options to select from. During startup, the downloader will automatically look for the radio and in the drive section it will show the drive ID, radio model and current installed version. You can select the languages you would like to install or update on the languages pull-down. The more languages you select the longer the update will take. If your radio needs a resource file update check the update resource file box. Last, you need to check the update firmware box. When you are happy with your selections, click the download button. After all downloads have been completed, you can exit the download utility and end the mass storage mode on your radio. From the system menu, select info and update, then select SD card update. Select the firmware file you just downloaded and tap on the upper checkmark icon to highlight the file and tap on the exit icon. You will have the option to start the update right away or later. The update is from this point onwards automatic and may take a while to complete. When the update has been successfully completed, the radio will restart automatically. This concludes this tutorial. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at any time. And if you have any requests for other tutorial videos, let us know. Thanks for watching.